Welcome to Tessera's Nerf Room. I don't know what this is. This is the Roblox Adopt Me Bees Blaster. I was not going to buy one of these. The only reason that I have this right here is because we found it at Ollie's and they only wanted $10 for it. And for that price, what could possibly go wrong? And this blaster is freaking hilarious for a couple reasons, not just because of the visual appearance of this thing, but also this blaster is actually kind of interesting. With that said, cue the intro. Roblox Bees Blaster was one of four launch nerf Roblox blasters in the first year, that being 2021. This came out alongside the Shark, the Bread Shark Mega Blaster thing, the Terrible Strife reskin, and the two little jailbreak pistols. I have one of those jailbreak pistols, and that's it. I really was not interested in the Roblox line, and neither was basically anybody else, just because this was quite possibly the best blaster in the entire lineup, and even then, this is an 8-shot revolver lever-action monstrosity that costed $30. Three, zero. And this thing is actually gigantic. It is huge. It is the same size as the Nerf Rapid Strike. Literally, stock to stock, the same size as the Nerf Rapid Strike, but with like 1 50th of the functionality. Hang on, let me fix that. There you go, that's a little bit better. Like 1 50th of the functionality, this being a lever action eight dart revolver, which is actually a pretty interesting concept until Zuru did it better with the Lock Blaster. A review on that will be coming pretty soon. But nevertheless, let's review the Bees Blaster, starting with the design. If we go down to the ergonomics, we've got a main grip and a stock. No foregrip! Even though you can kind of use this as a foregrip, I don't really count it because you're like putting your fingers where the cylinder is. It just, just don't do that. It sucks. But if we go to the main grip, it's actually very comfortable. It is a huge main grip. Big enough for anybody with big hands to get their whole hand around. And it's smooth and filleted. The grip is comfy for now. I'll get to that in a minute. If we go down to the stock, it's a little bit too short, but it is pretty comfortable, even though the plastic quality here is one degree away from being paper with black paint on it. Like, actually, listen to that. It literally feels and sounds like construction paper with paint on it, but that's basically it. If we look at the priming handle, um, um, hmm, hmm, ugh. Why? Why on earth is the priming handle so far away from the grip? Like I can effortlessly get all three of my fingers under the priming handle to hold onto the grip. If I try to hold the grip and the priming handle, you know, like you're supposed to do with lever actions because that's how they prime, it is just so unnecessarily huge and uncomfortable. The priming handle is so wobbly. It doesn't feel stable at all. And it's so far away from the grip that it actually feels like unstable to hold it like this. Like, I don't feel like I can hold the blaster still unless I actively have it braced tightly against my shoulder because the grip is so big and small at the same time and the priming handle is just like, ugh, oh, ugh, oh, look at this. Look at it! If we ignore that and actually just take a look at the functionality really quick, you can see that this is an 8-dart cylinder fed blaster. The cylinder is actually very clicky and it rotates very easily. The, the, the dimensions between, like, there's 8 darts in the cylinder, but it's a hexagonal shape, so it's like, 8 is not divisible by 6, so the cylinder is not consistent as you rotate the blaster around, so I don't understand what's going on there, but it doesn't really matter. And the way it works is it's a lever action. So you pull it forward, and then you pull it back, and then you can fire once, or... It has slam fire. Why? 
Why does it have slam fire? I have no clue. I have no idea. Because slam firing a lever action blaster is physically not possible for you to do because of the way that it works. Look, your hand has to move so far away from the trigger, there is no way to have your finger held down on the trigger while you're priming the blaster. It doesn't really help that the priming handle is so far away from the grip, but I've already complained about that enough. I don't know why it has slam fire. I don't think it should have slam fire because all that does is make it harder to mod because you can't even use slam fire reliably on a lever action blaster. There's no way to do it. Though I will say the prime is very smooth. It is super clicky, very smooth to pull forward, very smooth to pull back, and it's got a nice satisfying ratcheting mechanism. As for the trigger pull, as you can see here, it is very clicky. It has a little bit of a mushy trigger spring in there, but it does give a sort of pop when you pull the trigger, and it feels nice, and it sounds nice. I really like the trigger pull on this thing. Not to mention, even though it's a revolver style blaster, the cylinder advancing is actually very smooth and it doesn't really take away from how smooth the prime is. Honestly, I think that the mechanism in here is very well designed and made very nicely. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna do eight shots normally and eight shots with slam fire. I hope if I can actually do that. I am, I am just really gonna quickly show you. That's how you load it. There's a hole right here that exposes one barrel. So here we go. Gosh, this planning handle sucks. And now, slam fire. I'm going to be pulling this down with my ring finger and just like holding it like this and then I'll, I'll do it with my thumb. I don't even know if this is gonna work. Okay, that is the weirdest experience I have ever had shooting any blaster in my whole life. So one thing I would like to quickly note is the performance. It's shooting hard. It's shooting like high 70s to low 80s, which is insanity because look at it. It's a Nugget Bees blaster. Why is it shooting so hard? But other than that and other than the freaking slam fire, what do I think of this thing? Well, it's actually good. It's actually a really nice blaster that works way better than I was expecting it to, and it is literally only held back by this stupid priming handle being so far away from the grip for absolutely no reason. If this priming handle was pushed up against the body of the blaster, you know, like every other lever action in existence, then I would honestly have no real complaints here other than just like the price and the size of this thing for what it's doing. But honestly, this priming handle takes so much out of the experience. I just wish there was a way to fix it. Hmm. much better. This is a breath of fresh air. Even though it's quite a bit thinner than the last one, it is quite a bit sturdier and I can actually hold it like a regular lever action. And it is just as smooth as the original Prime, just as reliable as the original Prime, but better in every single possible way. Now I think the blaster is actually really good. If you have this part, or you can get this part, or you have a 3D printer and are able to print this part, I say get this blaster and get the pack that includes this part. The pack that I got this from is actually from Etsy. I will link it down in the description below and it includes this part right here, two extensions on the side to make it a little bit bigger, a replacement cylinder, a replacement muzzle, and another piece which I honestly want to print that replaces this front part with one with a Picatinny rail on it so you can actually give it a foregrip. With all that said, if you want to purchase this blaster, I'll link it in the description. Thanks for watching. Bye. Oh, 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 oh,